We are a professional services cafe that utilizes 3D printing to solve everyday problems. I got the idea back when I was in business school, basically from the older model of the internet cafe where people were given accessibility to a technology that you know wasn't as widespread or as easy to use and it was pretty new. So I had the idea that 3D printing is similar to that, so why not make a cafe where people can come in and learn how to operate the machines and talk to our professional staff about how to uh, work on their problems. On these front machines, which we have accessible to customers coming in so that anyone can sort of come in here, um, we can educate them on how to use the 3D printers and then they can actually use these machines themselves. So we have printing classes, they're one hour classes, customers can come in, learn how to download files, how to use the slicer software, how to use the printers and they can just hang out and do their own printing. They can get a day pass or a monthly membership. If you make it in your head and then draw it on the computer, you can have it inside of 24 hours. And that's what I think is the, the true magic behind 3D printing. It really enables everyone to come up with their own ideas and have them in their hands in a pretty short amount of time. Uh, we had Randy James come into our shop and ask if we would like to assist him in printing the uh, full-size camper trailer, a uh, thing that we just achieved a few months ago, uh, which is four times larger than the world's largest 3D print. Um, but it was really the team that we've assembled and the hard work that we've put into 3D printing that allowed us to really achieve that goal. It started uh, just over two years ago at my kitchen table uh, with an uh, aunt that came down with a 3D printer and I seen what he was doing and I said if I can print a trailer that with a big machine then that's the way we should manufacture trailers. So that's when I started digging into it and in two and a half years I'm sitting here with the world's first full-size 3D printer trailer. <laughs> it's kind of exciting being at the forefront of it, right? You know, it, it, we're not, we're kind of writing the book, not following the book, which is kind of cool done some bizarre jobs, anything from cow urinals for the U of S to 3D printed headphones to clips for manufacturing sensors that are going shipping international right now. Um, and then we got our espresso machine, we got our coffee makers and brought in the beverage side of things so we could have the more comfortable environment where people are actually invited in. And then from there we've just been working day in and day out solving problems for businesses or people.